Well, I was just recording a super long video, and then it, uh, apparently it turns out I wasn't, so I'm just gonna play map packs and try and beat them. This level's called Easy, so it's gotta be easy. I haven't practiced any of these, just playing them, because I just want to. And I like how all the people who made these really old 1.0 levels, like, added coins when they came out. They're like, guys, look how cool my level is, it has coins in it. Does your level have coins? I just had to jump there because I thought maybe I could do it. That was like literally intentional in every way. I really just need a video to be uploaded because like, I just want to show my, like I have been doing stuff. It's just, I've been like making like three separate levels at once, which isn't very helpful. There's like two collab levels and then there's a level I'm trying to make. There's a deal that I have to try and work on or whatever. And Veal's not exactly easy. It's an insane demon for a reason. I was pl playing a lot of Bloodbath because I want to try and get 30. Because I can get 30 on Bloodbath. I can't pass it ever. Like, I never will. I'm not trying to beat Bloodbath. I just want 30. Because, like, yes, I'm cool now. I accidentally got a coin. I That coin was so easy to get, I thought that was the intended path. Not going to... What? Okay, that's not nice. Map pack levels are, all, like, all of them, you can't beat in one attempt. Like, you can't, like, beat any map pack levels in one attempt. And I don't think Retray is a map pack level, from what I've checked. If it is, good for, good for that. I don't know when map packs were released, because I'm not some person who played it when it first came out. I played it, like, maybe six months to a year before 2.1, 2, 2 so still a pretty long time. That's, like, six years, seven years. <laughs> because 2.1 has been out for such a long time. Which is longer than most of my friends, actually. Which ex could explain the skills that I have in the game. But I know a lot of people who've been playing the game for a while who don't even have it nearly just... See, I kind of, like, suddenly started getting good. I got, like, 20 demons in, like, a week one time. My skills started going up a lot at one point. And that, I, like... In a month, I think, I think I got, like, most of my demons, like, in, like, the span of a month or two. That's where all of the demons came from. Which is really weird. But, yeah, that is, so, like, my skill kind of just ramped up. And it was mostly because I started realizing that some demons that I played were actually easy. And weren't, you know, insanely impossible. I think I got this level in the bag, because the ending ship is just, like, why are so many map pack levels just stereo madness, basically? Like, the song is Stereo Madness, and, like, all the levels are just, like, Stereo Madness. They're designed around Stereo Madness. Like, I know there was only one other game mode, but they are literally designed exactly the same. That guy died at 98, bro. What a loser. Stereo Madness. This better not be Stereo Madness ten times. Okay, good. Because if that was a level, this would be a really long level. That's a, <laughs> That'd be like, whoa, there's pulses. Wow, amazing. Woohoo. Why did they make it so the orb randomly pulses? That was literally not needed. Okay, good. I was like, are all the other orbs in the whole level gonna do that? Because that's gonna be annoying. Why are all the levels stereo magnet? Why? I'm like 99% sure there were more levels than just stereo madness in 1.0, right? I'm not dumb, right? I'm like 99% sure there was not just stereo madness. Wasn't there five, seven levels? Oh, okay, there's a UFO. Okay, so this was made when, like, what's the McCullough level came out? Like, Hexagon Force or whatever came out. Or, no. that. This is an Electrodynamics. It's in tow. It's not an X-Step. Is it in Quarter Funk? I don't really care or remember. It might be in Quarter Funk, maybe. I don't know. So, like, 1.6 or 7, right? I don't know. I don't actually know that much about history in this game. If it's before, like, 1.8. So... What is this circuit? Okay. Free win. Off screen gameplay pod. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about all the levels being Stereo Madness. This is actually making my game like super easy to play. I've noticed a lot of levels will go like quarter funk kind of block. I don't I'm just gonna say quarter funk update because I don't know what I don't even know when the blocks came out, I'm just gonna say that. But I've noticed so many of these levels just like for no reason just turn into like that. For no reason. This pack is super easy for some reason, by the way. There, oh, I, this, wait, is this the Stereo Madness pack? It's the, okay, it's the Stereo pack. That makes a lot more sense. I was actually genuinely about to be like, bro, actually, what the frick is wrong with, what the 
Okay, this is kind of cool. This is some star, right? So this level shouldn't be that bad. Should be okay. Because I played, you know, they're, they're okay levels. This literally looks just like Stereo Madness, except, like, redesigned. And I'm hoping that's the case. I mean, obviously, it's not exact Stereo Madness. I'm hoping this is just super similar to the Stereo Madness, and then it's redesigned. So that would mean free win. Also, why is this level not rated easy? This should be def- A lot of these levels should be rated easy. Well, if you want a map pack, go for this one. This one's easy. There's just Stereo Madness levels. If I- the first level I played had like one thing wrong with it. That was it. Also, you know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Plus seventy-seven orbs to get seventy-seven percent. Good one. I'm assuming you get like a hundred, it's like one per percentage, and then you get like a bonus at the end. Kind of like how demons are four per, per percentage, and you get a hundred when you beat it, instead of just five per percentage, which is dumb. But I guess it's to reward beating it, like, that's fair, you know? It's like, I think the demon list works, like, you get points still for like, getting percentages and levels, but you get like, double what 98% is, or 99% is when you beat it, just so that you're, you're, like, rewarded for actually beating the demons and not just, like, getting like, Yep, that's enough. Why do I keep going down there? That cone's not worth anything, I'm just going down there. I think it's, like, instinct from Stereo Madness must go down. Also, I swear some of these levels have more than three coins and I just haven't been paying attention. But I'm thinking right now, and I think I've only seen three. Then again, my best is 77. So a whole fourth of the level to go. There's the third one. Once you get into the ship portal, it's over. There's no way a level that's rated hard is going to get, like, straight fly demon on me. Well, even back then, I could have found that level easy. And I'm going to start actually co completing quests. One, three, three, one star. That was easy. Jesus. Quest, easy, give me more. I just completed another map pack. I, I really want to beat an entire page of map packs. I've already beaten, I think, what? Oh, Cap, why is Capiclism here? This random pack that has Capiclism in it. Okay, okay. I know I've beaten like three demon packs, maybe two. There's one, two, and I've beaten, yeah, three other demons that are in them. There's Lights and Thunder, Demon Pack, uh, Electroman Adventure 2, and then there's Impulse. And this one's just the... Crescento is still the dumbest, like... Stupid. Big stupid. No one like it. No. You big dumb. UFO Pack. I hate these levels. They're bad. Amazing Art. What's that mean? Oh. No. Invisible Spike Mode? No. What do you mean, amazing art? That looks very annoying. I wanted to see if I could get away with the double click, okay? Double click. Lol. Several. So, I never saw the point of these levels. Like, sure, it's an okay idea, but like, it's just annoying. Because this isn't what the UFO game mode's for. Like, just use the cube. If that's literally what the cube was made for. This is just... The UFO is basically the cube, but you can jump in air. And then you're just taking away that ability. Why? What is the point of that? You're basically just... Like, the UFO is made to be able to jump in air. And then you just take that away again. So the only reason the UFO exists... You've just taken that away, like, nah. Nah. Why? Why? We don't need that. I guess it's less timing, kind of. But not really. Because you can still buffer quick for cube. You can't buffer quick for UFO, which makes this way harder. Which also means you can't add orbs to these levels. Well, you can, but you can't make buffer orbs that have tight gaps because buffers don't work. And you have to change up the gameplay because UFO physics. I don't think I've even ever beaten a UFO level because I hate them. 
Okay, now that we're at the end, the stereo man, so it should be GGED. -G -E -D. Guys, secret way, oh my gosh, guys, secret way, secret way at 97. Wow, shiny little ending. Let me guess, I added that in like 2.1, just to make their level relevant. This is alright. No, I'll, I'll look at it. No. I just want one. What even is that? I don't even know what that is. There's gotta, that's gotta be something, and I just don't know what it is. But I don't really care either. It's obviously moving. Like, no duh. But it's just annoying. It gets in the way. What is this? Does it change? It doesn't change. It's just the same thing. Bruh. You ain't even gonna change up your art? Bro, imagine. Bro, what do you mean amazing art? Most like common. Seven years ago? Even seven years ago, people hated this level. Well, why can't people this level is annoying for you? I hate the UFO pack. Who doesn't? You don't even get coins for them. Break mode. Was these all made by the same person? Yep, but only one of them has the quote unquote amazing arm. That was like. I feel like that's bugged on some refreshers. It probably isn't, but that looks like it could easily be bugged. Wow, guys. It's back on track. Why? It used the same song, has the literally copy pasted background, and um, uh, uses bounce pads. It's back on track, guys. This literally doesn't mimic back on track at all, guys. This just isn't back on track. What? Okay. I was like 99% sure I was, that was like some random dumb timing out of nowhere in a level where that's rated hard. I honestly don't ever look at the star because most of the levels I play are demons. What the heck? It's like, guys, it's like, it's this is literally not back on track. They're literally going the opposite path of back on track. Let's go. LMAO, back on track, stupid unpog, let's go, oh my god, I'm not dead. I guess there's, like, an advantage to the UFO being the thing. You can, like, jump even when you are, like, about to land on a spike, like, when you barely, like, miss jump. But, like, just don't miss your jumps, and it doesn't mean anything, LMAO. Easy. Clean game, Miss PWC. I don't even know. <laughs> I have this talk. Um, for me, it is part of the next step. All of them are. No offense, but this is true. Wow! Look, amazing art, guys. There's an orange. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I think I won. Okay, now that there's orbs, this might be weird. Although, I do like this level way more than the other one so far. Because I've always loved orb UFO gameplay. It's like my favorite gameplay. Fast-paced orb UFO gameplay is super fun. But it's super difficult. Which is why it's so fun. Guys, secret way, guys. Wait, this is this is updated in 2.1? I, I saw the lightning there. This is like 2.1. This has to have been updated. No way a level I just got weird. I did not know. I honestly just lost my brain there. I'm like, whoa. Oh my god, two spike. Go up, go down. Uh, see, that's the advantage of the UFO pack. But I messed it up anyway. You can do this and then jump in air instead of having to actually jump. But then, why even have the structures there? Like, you just put spikes there. It's way more simple. Aluminium. I kind of despise these levels, though. Like, they're a neat idea, sort of, but they're just kind of unoriginal. Like, they're not unoriginal, I guess, but, like, they're not exactly fun. They're not fun at all. They're, like, somewhat original. And they just kind of, they're kind of just bad, because it's just annoying. They're really annoying, because the gameplay, the physics are different. And since you're in a portal, and you can't see the whole screen like I'm here, there's a lot of off-screen stuff that jumps out at you, which is annoying. At least it's not like, you know, the 
stupid thing that like was a thing for no reason for the flappy bird. That level is honestly like the, all the levels are just bad. They're just the gameplay is repetitive. You you don't change gameplay. You have to do the same repetitive thing. They're, they're not, yeah, I'm happy that's not a thing anymore. And I mean, honestly, any anything that's just UFO gameplay is kind of bad because slow UFO is real boring unless you have like some actual gameplay like this. This level is actually fun because you know orb gameplay in UFO. Always loved it. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of my favorite types of gameplay, is that, so that's cool, but like, that, that one level, is probably better out of you, I, I'm not gonna lie, that one was actually kind of okay, can I hold the beginning, nope, the level's bad, okay, immediately bad, if you can't hold the beginning, level bad, no, if you can't hold in the beginning, the level's not bad, but if you can, the level is good, well, it's a chance, it's a thing, it doesn't mean it's good, but if you can hold in the beginning, the level, you, you can call it slightly better than it was. I always make it so you can hold in the beginning of, like, most of my levels. Some of them I can't for, like, looking at things for stuff, but, like, most of the time you can hold in the beginning of my level. That's not nice. That's, that's a weird thing to do. Wow. Most of my levels you can hold in the beginning. Well, my good levels. Okay, I'll say that. All my good levels you can probably hold in the beginning. Or all the levels I'm planning to make that are good, you can hold them in the beginning. Unless there is a reason for that not to be a thing. And some of the levels where you can hold them in the beginning, you can hold them in the beginning, there's just no jump. There's just a block above your head that's just not jump. I'm an idiot. How did I survive that owl and may okay. <laughs> I knew I was dead, but I couldn't for some reason I couldn't see where those were. So I was like, I thought I'd already died, and then I just didn't jump. And I'm like, I accept my fate. I should have panic jumped. You see, you want to know probably the real reason I did there? I kind of stopped myself from panic jumping, so that like when I fall off screen, I don't jump instantly. So now whenever I do get panicked, I don't actually jump anymore. <laughs> also, the shirt I'm wearing has this like thing on it because I went on this bike thing. And it, it has the shirt on it for it, and it honestly looks like there's just a giant shirt tag in the front of my shirt, and it looks so annoying. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it literally looks like there's just a giant receipt or whatever on my shirt, and it kind of makes me cringe, cringe. <laughs> I do actually want to make a new level that's kind of nice and cool. Um, it's a, it's a fun idea that I've had for a while. But basically, um, I kind of, I don't want to explain it that much because I don't want to like, ruin the level idea. I don't want to like tell anyone I'm going to make it so that it's not fun when they see it. But it will have toggle orbs in it, which is going to be cool. I'm probably just going to tell like my close friends about it, like usual, which is basically the only people sub to this channel, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I have like 10 people or subscribers. The other 10 people, I have no idea who they are. But I have seen them in the comments, a few of them. There's like the, the XX guy. I don't remember his name, actually. I think his name's like, I don't know. Something, something. It, he's got a profile that looks like my friend's Xbox profile. Um, I don't know his name, though. I forgot what his name was. But I, I think his name starts with an X something. It's like XX, probably. I don't know. That's one of them. That's one of the few. I don't think... I, there's also this one person that said, like, first. On, like, the first video I made. And it says, like, A and B friends or whatever. That's a channel, I guess. There's a few bot channels that post links in my certain comments. I don't know if they're sub. They're probably not. Like, what's even the point of doing that? First of all, I'm the only person who sees those comments because I will literally stock my notifications on YouTube. And if I get one, I'm like, oh, what's it say? Because mostly because I want to like watch. Okay, that wasn't nice. I want to like watch. I just wait for new videos to come out that I want to watch. And I also want to. And I also do that when I first upload levels or upload videos. For the for like the next day or two, I will stock my notifications to see if anyone's like commented so I can respond to them. 
or like something or also check if i've commented on a, a video check it'll say like oh your comment was liked by someone or it was hearted by the creator or like whatever but i just like checking that because at first i didn't even check that and then like i checked the I, it was like oh someone liked your comment and i was like oh okay and i just didn't really care and then uh one day i went i went i got the notification again i went back and that comment had like 400 likes, which is like my second most liked comment. My first most liked comment, I think, has like 1,000 likes. And of course, it's on a jump to death video. I think it's on Nepesta's video where it's like playing over the two times speed. And it was like, this is what it feels like when you first get the game. It's a, that's what my comment says. And it's like the most liked comment. It's not the most liked comment, but it's like one of them. I passed that dumb troll. This, why is this level basically like Poltergeist, but it's just not Poltergeist? Like, this level tries to be Poltergeist with, while not also trying to be Poltergeist at the same time. I don't even know that you pronounce it. Pol Poltergeist, Polar, GS, Hexagon, Hyper. Oh, this level! I remembered, like, you can, like, cheat, right? There's this, like, cheat thing that I remember doing. I don't remember. That! That! And this person know about it. I remember dying to this, but I'm like, oh, I found a fun thing. I'm just gonna sit through this, cause I have beaten this level before. I have, but who is it made by? Yeah, this person I don't like. At first, I thought it was Dorby Basic, cause oh yeah, wait, can't you like hold in the beginning here? Yeah, yeah, hitboxes, guys, hitbox. Yeah, I remember this level. This reminds me of yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like a version of this level I played that's like just the same level but buff. Can't you go under these two? Yeah. This level's not that hard. <laughs> that was probably dumb, but luckily, didn't mean much. Wow, guys, look at that amazing coin. I don't know why they went, like, why did people stop just doing a circle and a star? Why'd they put, like, a block there? That could actually, like, be a problem. I don't actually think I've beaten this level. I think I've beaten one that just looks like it. Because I don't remember this at all. You can probably go under these, but I'm not testing that. Wow, guys, look at my... I could... I've probably made a level like this before, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I've made a level like this before. Oh, God, oh, my gosh, I do not want to die. You know, this level actually has good indicators. I, I'm not going to lie. This level is actually a good level. It warns you when this stuff's about to happen. It has a fair rating. That was not warned at all. I'm about to take it back. But if you don't die to that transition like me somehow, you're okay, and you don't die. Oh my. This is not slow. Am I supposed to jump? I don't want to. Do I jump? Twelve mil. Does that mean downloads? I think that's downloads. Downloads? That whole ending scared me. I was like, is it ended? That probably meant downloads, because it's almost at 16 million now. Like if you found the secret, like this comment if you like my icon, good for you. Like if you're playing in 2.1. No, well, I actually found the secret path. Wait, can you like hold in the beginning to do that? No. It's not that hard to do, though. I thought this was like an actually difficult jump. It's a pretty easy jump. I just remember finding that out on accident, and I was like, wow, I'm so cool. I found the secret way, and then it's like, no. Okay, this is reminding me of that hexagon... UFO level, whatever, the Flappy Bird level, Flappy Hexagon, and I don't like this level anymore. This level is now my least favorite level. No, it's just, it's not my, I don't like this level anymore because of that. These are just like copy pasted from that, and they like totally are too, aren't they? What even is this level? What's it called? Simple Cloud. What is that supposed to mean? Also, speed up, of course. Let's go. Mm -hmm. This is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. You can't really die to those rhombus. Rhombuses? Yeah? Yeah, rhombuses. You can't really die to those. But, I'm not gonna complain. They do throw you off sometimes when you, like, hit one on an accident and you, you can't. If you go, like, straight into them, you don't actually, like, know which way you're gonna go. You're just like, you. At least, I don't think you can die to this, like, the. Yeah, I don't think you can die to the slope side of those. I'm like, 90. Like, what if you run perfectly frame into the middle? Do you die? Probably not. This, I feel like this level is just Poltergeist, right? But it's called Simple, simple Cloud. There's got to be a reason for that, right? 
You know, for some reason, I feel like I've beaten all of the hardest map packs. These ones are super easy. It better not be like a spike again that I die to. If there is, I'm dying. Okay, like, not even, like, honestly, I was playing all of these. These are way easier than the ones I was playing. Coin. I've beaten a whole page of map packs. Get good. I'm gonna have it beaten. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then there's all the way over here. 12, 13. 13 map packs. I'm cracked at Fortnite. Okay, now we gotta do this one. This is concerning. If you are, if I already have a percentage on a level and it's not 100, I get concerned, like, instantly. Uh-oh, speed glitch. There's some songs that I'd always wanted to use, but I don't use anymore because they don't even sound like they're in the game. Though. They sound, they sound old. Like, the, the song itself is, like, old. Like, one of them is Beginning of Time. That level just, I, it sounds old, honestly. Copy-paste, guys, let's go! Copy-paste, poggers, copy-paste, poggers, pong. Like, I know, a little copy-paste is fine, but this whole level appears copy-pasted so far. Bro, what, whatever time this was made, I feel like... Making levels back then probably was a lot easier to do than it is now, I'm assuming. Because, like, I could probably make a level like this now if I put effort into it. If I, I don't want to. Of course, I don't make levels like this because I know they're not worth anything anymore, which is kind of sad. Because they still look nice. But also, I've noticed that, like, none of these levels have any sync in them, except for, like, in, like, like... When it, when it, except when the song like actually changes a lot, then it does. Oh, a coin. Okay. Like there, there'll be speed portals for the sync, and like you'll change game modes, but the the jumping like will never sync. It's just kind of annoying. I don't really know why that is. Maybe they just maybe they just weren't good at it, like. Oh, those are- oh, I thought those were decoration. That's annoying. Downsides to making your entire background black. I don't know what the frick everything is. I can't see myself making a, like a level with the song. It just sounds a little... I don't know old. I don't really know what the... How a song sounds old. Oh. Let's go. I've died to 48 times now, and I have 83. I don't... Most of the levels I make... For some reason, I just can't make a layout and then decorate it. I always decorate after making a layout, or, like, part of a layout. Which I think is the reason I don't ever end up finishing decorated levels. Because I know that it's, it, it never works. Decorating a level as you go never works. But I always do that, which I feel like is dumb. But, like... Don't die here, please. Thank you. Oh my, you're kidding me. I, I want to be like one more of these packs and then I'll be done. Maybe do something else. I don't really know. I kind of don't want to even beat this, but. This level does have nice looks though. It looks pretty good. The gameplay doesn't suck. A lot of these levels are actually good. Most of the map pack levels actually suck. I don't, I think, I'm like 50% sure I did that on purpose, which just sounds weird. I like kind of did that on purpose, but also really didn't. I noticed I didn't get the coin and kind of wanted to die to get it, but also kind of didn't. So then if I died, I could say I did that on purpose. I really thought the coin was up there. 
Coins were added in 2.0, right? Like, not secret coins, but like... User coins. Those were added in 2.0. I'm like, really sure about that. Because, in every level I see coins in... Oops. Every level I see coins in, there's all there are all there's also moving stuff. I've never seen coins in levels that, where there isn't moving stuff. I also never like why does like every single map pack level that's made before when coins were added, which I'm just gonna assume is 2.0. Why does like all of them actually just add coins in them? They're like oh my god coins. Like you have other good levels, right? Just make a new level if you're actually good at me. Like. Let's, why go through the, like, I guess they already have a level to add coins in, which is like, you know, I don't want to make a whole new level to, just to add some coins, which I guess is fair, but like, bro, you, your, your level is in a map pack, I think you can make one, I think you can make another one, besides, these levels don't probably take as long to make as ones do now, that's not like an insult, these, these levels just probably didn't take as long, I'm just assuming that. Cause they don't like look that difficult to make like i probably couldn't like make one of these very easily but they don't look hard to make to be honest like they look pretty pretty simple should i do it for the oh there's a what and also oh caught coins yeah i do bro oh is that like a user coin achievement oh i have 90. pog ow my head hurts Yay, one I'm gonna i I'm gonna play this one because I've never played it, so let's go, nice and readable gameplay. Is my finger bleeding? No. Okay. This one seems really annoying. I've been doing pretty fine with all the levels, except for this one so far. Also, Square Adventure? Die in a hole, actually. That level is so bad. Not even kidding, that level is the worst level. That's probably the worst map pack level I've ever played. That's not even, like, exaggerating. That is the worst map pack level I've ever played. It's worse than Dreamline, dude. There's just no... You can't read anything. It's the worst. Oh, I was like... You know what else I hate? I'm happy this level didn't do it, but I was actually expecting it. Well, oh, there's so many levels where you'll be like upside down in something, and then when you go on a normal portal, it'll just switch your gravity back to normal. Which is kind of dumb. Because it'll be like invisible, which is super dumb. But like, it kind of makes sense, but it's super dumb. Like, at, when you're like, when you first play the game, that's actually easy to read, because for some reason, when you first play the game, your, your ultimate, like, first assumption is everything is going to be normal gravity. So when it flips, you're, like, always, like, it's going to flip back. Because in all the rod top levels, when you're, when you're upside down, it usually flips you back once you go through another portal. So you're, like, uh, automatically assume, oh, yeah, it's going to do that. So then, like, people make levels with that mentality. They're like, oh, people just, they'll just know it's just going to flip. No, no one's going to know that. So stop being annoying. <laughs> it's annoying as frick. I also remember one time I was playing back on track, and I was like, like, my friend was over there, I'm like, if, like, pros at the game, don't touch the ground here, because I was at the shit part, right before the cube part, I was like, what? Huh? What just happened? What just happened? Okay. Probably some dumb portal, invisible portal thing I couldn't see. Anyways, I was like, pro, if you're a really good, if you're a pro at the game, then you don't have to touch the ground here. And now I'm just like, if I'm a pro to game, I'll know that my fingers can get a break here and I don't have to waste my time clicking here. We didn't plan computer then, but I just say clicking because, like, everyone just understands click more than tap. Okay, let's get ready for what the frick that was. Oh, thank you! That was such a visual indicator that I could easily understand. Thank you. Let me guess, there's another one? Yep. I guess you can read it once you see it once. You really gonna go backwards wave on me? You really gonna go backwards wave on me? Bro, this level just went backwards wave on me. Bro. Couldn't be. You know what? We're gonna go play the other one, because this level sucks. Not gonna lie. All the other levels have been good, and then I spoke too soon, and these levels all suck. Oh, this is... I probably played this level before my... Oh, my dad. I got, like, wiped for, like, two weeks. 
This almost seems like a more recently made level, but I think it's just like good. <laughs> I'm not really sure if the blocks kill you or not, and I don't really care now. This level seems okay. It just seems like it could be unreadable. See, if you are gonna switch the camera directions, give someone time to react. This level's good. Okay, that was almost not good, but I, I could still... <laughs> oh god, I... Oh! Mm. How funny would it be if that's like actually what I died to? Oh, those are spikes. Wait! Guys, start position, look behind me. Guys, I, they're using start positions? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's like the slope thing. When slopes were added, you can like use slopes to move stuff farther back. Or move triggers. You can also use move triggers to do that. But I don't know if move triggers exist in this level. Then again, this could be updated. There's alpha triggers in this level. Were alpha triggers added? Al alpha triggers were added when move triggers were added, right? Oh wait, no, those probably aren't. Those aren't alpha triggers. No, those aren't. No, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Those aren't alpha triggers. Those are color triggers with opacity. I'm not dumb. I promise. I know that's a thing. I just wasn't thinking. And I know that is a thing. Though. I never used that feature because alpha triggers exist now. But yeah, me and my friend didn't actually know how to make things invisible for a while. I was. I discovered that you can use the um. You can, like, you know, there's like the auto select thing. You basically select an object and you go to it, and you can lower its opacity by, like, selecting that three circle thingy. And you could put the opacity to zero and make, like, a certain object completely invisible. And I was like, guys, look, my whole level's invisible. And then they're like, oh, that's cool. And then, but you couldn't make visible blocks. They were, they were all invisible. You couldn't make visible ones. So that was the only way. And eventually, one time, we saw this uh, object that was invisible on a, on a group, right? So we went to go, because we knew how move triggers work, so we understood groups. We saw it was on a group. So we looked for a trigger with that group, and we only found one, and it was a spawn trigger. Now, what I'm assuming is, since the level, the vi thing was invisible, right? Oh god. It was probably invisible because of a color, like an invisible color usage instead of like an alpha trigger. So we assume spawn triggers make stuff invisible. And, uh, I don't really know how we thought that. And I'm, like, 99% sure we managed to make something invisible. But I'm pretty sure we messed up, like, real bad on the thing. And it just, like, teleported it really far away. It wasn't it? <gasps> Bro, this level, like, has, like, an anti- Let's go! I no longer completely despise this level. This level is actually good. Unlike the last one I was playing. What the heck was that? Wait. Globe navigation. That looked like it said globe malfunction. Maybe it did, and I'm just blind. There's a slope there, dude. I keep dying to that. That barely says navigation. <laughs> This gameplay is kind of weird, like that that part's kinda of hard to read. But the rest of it's okay. This part's easy to read. And I'm like 99% sure it's not just because my skills and reading have my skill and level reading haven't gone up. Almost died to that. I shouldn't mention that because then I will die. I don't know what to do there. You're probably just supposed to fall down, but I honestly my brain can't comprehend it. I'm sorry. I bet you that's what I died to. Yeah, my best is still 68. That's probably what I died to originally. I'm just like, nah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I do not really like these levels. Like, in, like the, these. this one's good. But, like, in general, most of the levels are not that great. And I don't play map pack. Like, honestly, if I were trying to do this, like, maybe just a few months ago, I couldn't handle this. It depends on how many a few months... Let's say, like, uh, 10 months ago. I think 10 months ago, I actually did not have 50 demons. Or, like, near them. I think I had, like, 30 or 20. 
So, my skill was rising, but I hadn't even beaten, I don't even think I beat nine circles yet. So, it wasn't that much skill. Ah! Well, I got a new best, guys. Three percentage, or three orbs, not even percentage. <laughs> you win. When you do a super hard jump, just so you can die. Playing with my left hand because I'm stupid. I am left-handed, but that doesn't mean I play this game with my left hand. It's way easier to play right. I finally died of that. I was like, is there like a block there? Why am I not dying? I did die to that just now. Finally. This map pack is proving to be rather annoying. Why is this song called Globe Navigation? Like, this is... Is it just called that? Maybe the song was related that, and I just... Okay, circum... Okay. That makes sense. I was like, why is this level called Globe Navigation? This has, has nothing to do with navigating globes, from what I've looked at. One sec. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. Speed build. I've noticed the longer we play these map packs, the more decorated they get. And I'm not sure if ma new map packs are getting added, or if the first levels are just not decorated for like what. Maybe Robtop just decided he needed to add levels now, and just got some of the most generic, easy levels he can find. To make players think that they were actually having a, they, that just to make players think they would have a chance at you know making a good level when in actuality they actually are like this and they're never getting there in their lives ever i like never see like i like i see it there's a lot of like good levels made by a lot of people now but like they're way harder to make like the old decorating stuff, it's not, it's just, it's, it's still okay. It's sure, it looks kind of strange. Sometimes. Sometimes it's actually good. But like, at least it was easier to make and more people could do it. Just do some rotating of some objects, connect them to other objects, and other things that are going to it. Oh my god, that was... What is this? What was that? I'm scared. I feel... Oh god. I feel like I'm gonna get, like, bad transitioned on. I kinda wanted that coin, but... Was that made by the same person that made that other level? Cause... That, uh... I don't know. Last level, and then I might be done with this video. I just remembered why I hated this bubble. If I can't see where the portal is, that's dumb.
what's wrong with the glow in the beginning? Or is that not the glow that's bad and it's like something else? And this part of the level is like okay. Because it has portals and stuff. That you can see anyway. But there was no mini portal there. I forgot that was there despite the actually playing it beforehand. Which shows goes to show how unreadable that is. Almost died. That that's not that's unfair. That was unfair. I shouldn't have died to that. That was not fair. This level's bad. Okay. I'm gonna how many other people? Like, if you hate this level, like, it's common if you hate this level, all the packs from should be considered harder or insane. Like, if you agree, I hate this level, it's leveled in long bugs and glitches. Like, if you agree, 6668 likes, that's annoying. All right, level with passion, like, it's common if you hate the wave part, I didn't make on track and the level should be removed. But yeah, people don't like it. Recent, recent, die. I hate you. <laughs> Worst level. It's more times the entire crystal gauntlet. Bro, I haven't beaten the crystal gauntlet. I have four to five on three of the gauntlets, and I just can't beat them. And they're all on the same page, too, which just makes me look at it and get really mad. That's this level bad. The purpose is just like Rob Top should just like replace these levels with like like different levels. Like people who have already beaten them and had the coins won't have to rebeat them. It'll they'll keep the coins. They won't be able to beat them to get more. Just new players won't have to play these garbage levels and then think that the gameplay is weird. Because some players just think the levels are hard and not bad. Because they're like, oh, it's just really hard. And levels like this are why the recent tab is probably so bad. They go and play these and then try and make levels like them. And they don't think about the good gameplay because, like, all the gameplay sucks. So they play all of these levels, realize the gameplay is bad. But they don't think it's bad, they just think it's difficult. So then they make some more gameplay to it, making the hard level. And then the gameplay sucks, and it's annoying. Like, I can already spot things wrong with this. Like that old timing. One of the other things, rotated portals are very buggy. And this, of course in that instance they're not, but rotated portals that aren't 90 degrees in a 90 degree direction can be very buggy. A lot of my hold gameplay is bad if I use 90 degree facing portals. 90, 180, 270, 360, you know? Look, that just flipped your screen the other way, out of nowhere. That flips your gravity, which is basically no warning. Okay. This level is literally about to- I'm about to say this is worse than Square Adventure. If this level doesn't get any better, I'm about to insult it. Like, you know, I'm gonna say it's worse than Square Adventure. You, that's literally the most insulting thing you can say to a level. It's just levels worse than Square Adventure. Okay, this level's worse. I'm not playing this. I don't even care if it says two out of three. I don't even care. This whole pack is just weird, dumb kind of. One of the levels was okay, but I beat a lot of the map pack levels in under an hour. It was. I have a quest to com complain, to claim, to the moon go away. So I don't care. Ooh, new demon. You know what? New Demon. We'll play it. We'll see if I get anywhere on it. Probably won't. I never play. I only practice the fun ones. No, a lot of them aren't fun. 
Mm. Okay, that's annoying. That. I'm not liking this level right now. Some of the things are like, oh yeah, somewhat difficult orb timing, and then the other ones are like, oh no, jump instantly. That is, well, no, it's not. You're funny. I've been playing for like an hour, and it's been on the charger all day. It's literally capped. You know what? That notification probably messed up my audio. Now I probably don't have audio on this whole video. Which is literally how my recordings also work, which is stupid. This part's actually good. I vibe with this part. I vibe with this, dude. This part's good. Uh-oh. Okay. It was okay. It's fun. Okay. 